worker with the Grand Time Institute for uh, Climate Change uh, at Imperial College. And uh, one of the, the, the fields uh, of research uh, is to understand how um, global changes, planetary changes, uh, like uh, deforestation, uh, agricultural practices, uh, um, animal breeding, and so on, influence uh, the spread of viruses. Now, in this case, uh, it seems that uh, the virus uh, um, uh, took origin from uh, bats uh, uh, in the forest and then through uh, the pangolin, but I, I'm, I'm not completely sure. There is certainly uh, much research to be done about uh, this uh, interface between uh, wilderness uh, and uh, human activities uh, or land use uh, uh, and, and farming. Uh, pe some people say that uh, uh, more than 50% of uh, zoonoses, that is uh, um, animal diseases transmitted to, to humans, uh, might be due to agricultural practices and deforestation, perhaps more. Now, uh, what uh, will happen next year or two years from now? Well, if we don't uh, control uh, deforestation, uh, contacts between uh, wilderness and humans, uh, pig farming um, and, and the like, uh, we may have other uh, similar epidemics. Uh, we have had now a, a series, uh, if you consider SARS and MERS and Zika virus, uh, Ebola and, and, and so on. So we need definitely to invest into this kind of research and prevention. So global prevention is becoming uh, a need. Uh, well, I have perhaps a, a message, a general message, which is uh, to, to trust uh, um, institutions like uh, WHO uh, and to, uh, to follow uh, the suggestions uh, uh, or rules uh, that come from uh, the governments uh, or WHO and other institutions because uh, it's really a moment in which uh, we cannot follow, uh, say, strange suggestions or hypotheses.